Hi everyone, it's the nap time, and as you probably know by now, each week me and a bunch of friends from the nap server are playing games available on itch.io. We are rolling dice, and the name we get is assigned to a, to a game title, and you are supposed to play that game this week. So. Fortunately for me, this week I got Midboss. When I was looking at it, I got really excited because it looks pretty neat. And compared to some other games that we've played for our little naptime project, were of questionable quality, let's say. Either way, uh, I'm I'm ready to to jump straight into it. So let's see. Uh, please select your experience with turn-based dungeon crawlers. This will affect some default options like game speed as well as which tutorial are shown. I'm not a beginner, but I would say I'm I'm like, okay. There are new chain changes to the game. Do you wish to read a change log? No, I don't I don't care, sorry. Anyway, let's uh, just quickly look at the options. Uh, movement, blah blah blah. Uh, pause, delay, oh my god, there are so many options. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. <laughs> so many options. Let's uh, take the music down a notch a bit, because usually it just... Up. Mm. Hardcore mode, start over from the beginning if you die, the traditional way to play. One up mode, start a game with four extra lives and find more along the way. Narrative mode, infinite respawns and permanent buffs to explore the game at your leisure. Custom game, play the game you want with a completely customized gameplay experience. Now I have to tell you, because I'm an old lady, <laughs> well, not exactly old, but you know, I, I'm an adult with, with uh, responsibilities and, and so on. And I don't have much time, so I usually play games for their story, not so much for, you know, getting good or stuff like that. So I'm I'm a bit tempted to take the narr narrative mode, but I also want to show you like the proper experience. So I think I'll go with the middle ground here with the with the four lives. Choose your game length. What? Quick, standard, extended? Let's pick standard. Let's go with the standard mode for everything. What? <laughs> hey, Imp, how's the rat herding business? Ugh. Haha, uh, yeah, Wimp is more like it. Hey, boss, look at this jerk. Hey, don't call the zombie a jerk. That's mean. Ugh. Yeah, it's not zombies' fault you are such a weakling. I meant you. <laughs> Why, you little? The heroes have come, all, all monsters to their stations. Oh, it's the boss. I guess it's showtime. Remember, if you abandon your station, you'll in trouble, wimp. Ugh. Yeah, you stay here. I love that his name is changing. He was a skeleton. Then he was a real jerk. Now he's such a jerk. <laughs> yeah, stay here where you belong. With the rats. Cool. Uh, hey, boss, I'm getting kind of tired of being bullied by other monsters. How about you? With everyone distracted, we could finally show them who's boss, boss. Let's start with possessing that rat over there. First, we gotta move over to it. Use the numpad, the mouse, or the WSAD and EQZC keys to move. Okay. Oh shit, there are so many buttons. Uh, I think I prefer the mouse though. <laughs> now it's time to kill the rat. Wait, no, first we have to cast possession on it. That's right. Your abilities are at the top of the screen here. Just select the ability using the keyboard F1 or by clicking it, then click on the rat to target it. Okay, so we have depossess and possess. So let's possess you. Right, now we can kill it. Just attack by bumping into it. Remember, always prep your prey using possess. Ah! Okay, I hope I won't die. I did. Possess the plague rat. Strength. He has slightly more strength. Less 
sorcery. The rat is stronger than me. <laughs> okay, I'm a rat now. Ooh, we did it. Ooh, I've never been a rat before. Let's open the forms window and see what this puppy can do. All your menus can be accessed from the button in the lower left corner of the screen or using their hotkeys. Don't worry, boss. I'll open the menu for you this time, but you can do it yourself later using O. Plague Rat. Uh, at the top is a list of all the forms we know. In the middle is a list of all the abilities we know in that form. You can only use three abilities per form though, so pick those on the right. Oh, hey boss, what do you think this next ability does? Let's find out! All we gotta do is kill more things while in this form. Okay, so... Uh, none. Okay, we don't have any other abilities than... Envenom. Poison a foe. Okay. Oh, I can... Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Next ability, Underfoot. Plus 10 stealth. So basically we can also... Uh, we can also... Level up as the thing. Uh, let's go here. Oh! Oh, shiny loot! Eichel dips. Oh wait, I can't use it anyway, I have no hands. You can pick up items by clicking on them or picking up all items in range with G or... No? To equip or use items, open the equipment menu and right click or double click them. To see loot on the ground, just hold down left alt or right alt or toggle using left control or right control. Okay, so left... Oh, okay. Or you can click the item labels button down here to toggle them on and off. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, and a sword. I don't think we can use that. Oh, a scroll. Oh, I can also destroy this! I can destroy everything! Holy shit! A sword, a shield. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna collect everything just in... Oh, hey boss, that's a lot of stuff you're carrying. Let's not go into where <laughs> where you stash it all. Anyway, if you want to drop some stuff, just drag and drop the item outside the equipment menu to drop it. You can also hover the mouse over the item you want to drop and press G. Remember to that to see loot on the ground, you can hold down left alt or right alt, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I know that's a lot of stuff. I like stuff. Hey boss, this item is pretty rare. Items come in six rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and unique. Remember that you to see blah blah blah. Okay. Staff. Dagger. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, but let's see what we have. We have plenty of space in our inventory, so that's cool. Uh, double click to use. Uh, identification scroll. Holy shit. Is, well, what is it? It's like... Uh... Diablo? Staff and Staff of Affliction. Can I use it? Okay. Armor. Boots. Huh. Accessory. I don't know if I can use any. Can I? Okay. I can use this or that. Okay. I don't know if it's if it's gonna change anything right now. Nothing, nothing. Okay, that's all there was here. Let's move on. Oh, fish! Lucky drop! <laughs> I... Is this like money? Because I saw the icon of fish over here. Crate fish liberated! What?! Do I... Do I get anything from liberating the fish? Oh! A dagger. A boot! A boot! What? What's that a boot? Uh, boots. There we go. We have boots. Man. And another scroll. Uh-huh. Wand. But it's weak. 
Okay, let's move. Oh, another rat! Ha! Look how much damage we're de dealing. Nice, we aren't such a wimp as we were. Let's just wreck this room. Ooh. Come on. Come on, come on, come at me, bro. Five. Nice. Nice! Level up! Oh, we leveled up! Exciting! Let's open up the stats menu and see what we got. Oh, I'll, I'll do it this time. Uh, at the top are your meta attributes, which you can increase using stat points. Your meta attributes define whether you hit hard or you're good at crits and status effects. Or have lots of toughness or stamina. At the right are your core attributes, which are calculated using your form stats multiplier time, blah blah blah. These define how your meta attributes express themselves in a practical sense. Finally, to the left and in the middle, there's some mis. mis I always have an issue with this word. Some different stats. Don't forget to use your points to increase your meta attributes bonus. Okay. So violence, cruelty, adamancy, and relentlessness. Rel relentlessness. HP, mana, and stamina. Defense against physical and magical attacks. Criticals, minimum damage, condition strength. Magical and physical, maximum damage. So let's add here because we are weak right now and we want and I have one more stat point two more let's go with with toughness relentlessness and we're good right we don't have any more points to give yeah and what did I find I found a tome of zap okay hey to be honest, I'm loving this game. Fish liberated. Uh, oh, a rat. Two. One. 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 Oh. Am I poisoned? Am I poisoned? Hey, boss, you're not looking so hot. Maybe you should possess something. That'll per perk you right up. Remember, possessing takes mana and we have to rest R or pass to get mana back. If you are, if you depossess, that will heal you a little bit too. Uh, when you've cast possession on something at kill it but don't want to possess it, you can also drain its soul to regain some health. Oh, now you're telling me, why couldn't you tell me before I killed that rat? Soul draining isn't as effective as healing you as possessing a new body but handy if you don't want to switch forms. Okay, I think I need to depossess. Because otherwise I'm gonna die. What do... Okay, uh, on the top you can equip optional forms. Equi equipping a form lets you use that form's equipped ability. Since we're in our, our natural form right now, we get to pick three optional forms. When we are in another form, our soul is weaker, so we can only choose one. Wait, optimal forms? Plague rat. Hey boss, you should know switching equipped form takes it out of, of you. The first time you do it, it's fine, but every time after you'll get weaker. That weakness is called soul fatigue. You can get rid of it by possessing a new body, though. Oh, man. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. But also, I it's, this is a very extensive uh, tutorial. What? Am I a rat? I don't want to be a rat. I want to be a... I want to be an imp. Uh, let's grab this. Let's grab that. Let's destroy this. And let's see. Let's see. I have some armor. Damage reduction. Blah, blah, blah. Is this an accessory? No, it isn't. Is it a weapon? No, it isn't. Do I... Oh, I just use it. Okay. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, I see you're finally on your way. Hey boss, be careful, something smells fishy about this cat. I do like fish, but I'm just a humble merchant. <laughs> merchant. <laughs> if you're so harmless, how come I hear you trade with the heroes? Nobody's per per perfect. <laughs> and profit is profit. I know you monsters don't use gold, so I'll take balls of yarn in trade instead. Look for me on the way down for some good prices. Prices. Maybe we'll just kill you instead. That would violate the non-violence clause of our fur furball agreement. I'm not doing the R R anymore. As a show of good faith, I'll give you this salvage matic and converts items into scrap I'll buy from you. When you are ready to embrace your destiny, go down the stairs next to me. Whatever happens, no one will tell tales of your tales <laughs> of your deeds. All right, boss, I really don't trust that guy. I don't understand. It's just a cat. Uh, okay, there's nothing else in here. There is nothing else in here. Too bad. Anyway, what else do I have here? Potion. Can I... Crit critical potion, okay. Can I... Anything else? No. Okay, so now I know that I need to recognize potions. Oh, but I've been playing... Okay, I'm gonna play this game a few more minutes but man it's fun it's fun I know we have a tutorial but I also don't have much time because hey boss now uh, we should know about the turn order yes yes now I know about the turn order ha two one okay I'm not very ow fuck it poisoned me I'm gonna die Wait, I forgot to possess. Oh, and I died. Ah! Good thing I have uh, some, some, what do you call it? Additional lives. Oh, it's a bat. Let's try possessing a bat. Oh, oh, what? I, I did a lot of damage to this creature. But it did something to me. I'm bleeding? Oh, and it heals itself! Uh, how much health do you have? Okay, I died again. Okay, I have two lives left. That's not very good. Get some fish! And there is a treasure. And there is a rat. Let's possess a rat. Come on. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. Please. Okay, what are you? This is also a staff. And I need to identify it. Staff of Resistance. It's... It's cool. <laughs> more fish, more fish. Um, what's this? Let's use it. Oh, I poisoned you. Hey, did you know the mana doesn't regenerate while you're running around the place? Oh, maybe you should rest a while. Okay, I'm gonna do that soon. What if I press R? Just press R and you'll pass turns until your your mana and stamina is back to full. Okay, go ahead boss, catch some Z's, I'll protect you. Okay, I just did. I want to possess you. But wait, if I possess- if I poison you! Two, one, okay. One, one, ah! One, one, god damn it! Five! Yes, very good, but I'm bleeding! That's not good. Four, very good. Ah, die! Die! Motherfucker. Okay, depossess. And let's run away. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, can I heal myself somehow? Which one was it? Was it you? But apparently bats are too powerful for me. I need to... I need to stay with the rats. Bam. Yeah. Yeah, possess. And I'm at full health now. Man. This game is pretty complicated. Uh. Oh no! I didn't want to do that! And I'm running out of rats! Fuck you. What? He's poisoned now? But... I'm out of mana. What if I... What if I... Oh, he died! Yes! I mastered Plague Rat. Depossess? Um, do I want to depossess? No, not yet. We are good. Uh, mastering form gives you a few abilities when you are in your imp form and the form is equipped. You go. Okay, great. Great. I don't have time. Let's grab the ring. I don't have any identification scrolls, which sucks. Oh man, I would play more of this game. I will play more of this game for myself at least. Because it is pretty fun. It is it is a gem. It is a gem. Can I save though? Stats. Or does it save automatically? Oh hi. I I have 67 things. And I can sell some of my stuff, so that's good. Yes? Yes, I can sell some of my stuff. Um, yeah, let's sell this and this and this. That's gonna give me a lot of money. Anyway, let's close for now. And yes, this game is fun. I recommend it very much. I'm having a lot of fun. It is very pretty. It is very clever, in my opinion. But I don't know much about the story yet. I need to delve deeper into that. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Check out other videos recorded by other nappers because they are having their own games. I mean, their own videos out right now. And uh, remember that you can catch us at the NAP server. All the links are in the description. But for now, thanks again for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.